skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We've got a K2 Mindbender 99Ti for you today, and just one of the smoothest, cleanest turning skis in this width range that we see on the market today. Uh, when they made some changes for it for last year, they really settled in nicely to the overall character of the ski uh, by adding a full sidewall, uh, more tail rocker specifically, and kind of altering this, uh, the metal I -beam, uh, Y beam, excuse me, uh, that gives the ski its stability and its power. So a couple of small little changes really went a long way in making this ski feel a little bit more free ridey, whereas before it kind of uh, was a little bit locked into kind of a wider carving ski. Uh, now it lines up better with some of the more free ride oriented skis of the group, mainly because of that tail rocker, uh, but still keeps a ton of power with that sidewall, with that metal. Really, really great ski for advanced expert skiers who are looking for uh, smoothness, power, and just a surprising amount of agility. A lot of that comes from the Aspen veneer wood core. So Aspen has a nice mix of lightweight and high energy. Uh, then they add that Titanal Y-beam to the mix. Uh, so for last year and continuing on into this year, um, they kind of altered it a little bit wider of a beam in the front and then tapers to the middle, full width underfoot. And then in the, in the rear here, they made kind of a more bulbous uh, zone of that metal in the back, just more metal overall in the tail, and that really smoothed it out. I think it pairs well with that longer rocker profile as well, just to make this ski feel like that sturdier uh, all-mountain ski that is just really capable of high speeds and aggressive skiing. They also brought the start of the metal down a little bit further into the ski, uh, in the shovel here, and that just makes it less hooky and less catchy, uh, just a little bit more easy to, to initiate your turn. Um, so yeah, that metal really pairs well with the Aspen, goes along well with that, um, with that full sidewall too. Uh, just a graphic change for this year, looking pretty sharp. Um, and then we see that profile kind of fit more into what we normally think of as kind of a tr traditional all-mountain ski. Uh, the rocker and the tail used to be, you know, shorter, but more abrupt. So there used to be a little bit more splay, um, but a shorter overall rocker length. And that just kind of enhanced that on-trail personality, but didn't really help it in softer snow. So it was kind of locked in uh, to that on-trail stuff. Not a whole lot of taper going on back here. Pretty standard for an all-mountain ski. Um, this is the 184 here. And we're getting a 19.8 uh, meter turn radius, sorry. Um, and a lot of that has to do with just that nice straight shape to it. Um, there's that tip rocker there, not a ton of splay, pretty average, um, but really nice ski for mixing conditions and terrain and just allowing you to kind of be more creative with uh, your turn shape and style. Uh, it does end up weighing a little bit. You know, again, this is the 184. Uh, we're over 2,000 grams, just under 2,100 grams here. So a little bit of heft, um, but it's remarkably agile. Very easy to initiate. Uh, hooks in smoothly, delivers power through the middle, and then a nice uh, kind of predictable finish to the turn in the backside. A great tip to tail, all mountain, uh, versatile, a little bit on the wide side for pure carving, uh, but that's why they have the 89 Ti as well as even narrower disruption series skis. And make sure you check out this uh, 2024 K2 Mindbender 99 Ti here at SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye!